Whether you're a landlord or a tenant, there will likely come a time when you decide not to renew a lease. If you're a landlord, maybe the tenant is consistently late on rent or the property is in need of serious repairs. For tenants, there may be a new job opportunity across the country, or you're having trouble keeping up with rent. Whatever the reason may be, it's important for you to notify the other party of your intent to not renew the lease. This is done using what is called a non-renewal lease letter or letter not to renew. In this video, we'll cover what a non-renewal lease letter is, when the notice should be given according to law, and what to include in the letter. War eForms is the world's largest online database of fillable legal forms. To create your own non-renewal lease letter in just minutes, click the link at the end of this video. First, let's cover the basics. What is a non-renewal lease letter and how does it work? A non-renewal lease letter is written by a landlord or a tenant to formally notify the other party that they will not be renewing the lease at the end of the lease period. Why is this necessary? It's because most lease agreements include an automatic renewal clause that goes into effect at the end of the lease period. Sending the letter stops the lease from automatically renewing and binding the parties for another year or however long the lease term is. While both landlords and tenants don't have a legal obligation to renew a lease unless it's due to discrimination or retaliation, they are required by law to promptly notify the other party of their intention not to renew. So when is the best time to send a non-renewal lease letter? Every state has its own laws about when the non-renewal notice should be given to the other party. It can vary by circumstances too. For example, in California, state law requires that tenants or landlords give a 30-day written notice for tenancies less than a year and a 60-day notice for tenancies longer than a year. Be sure to check your state's requirements to make sure that you are following the law. Finally, let's go over how to write a non-renewal lease letter and what to include. Step one, check the original lease. Your non-renewal lease letter will need to include details from the original lease, such as the lease expiration date. Double check the dates to make sure that your letter is sent in compliance with state requirements. Step two, list tenant names, property address, and move out date. Be sure to clearly identify the names of the tenants, the address of the tenancy in question, and the date that they will need to vacate the residency by. If the tenant is writing a letter, they should identify their planned move out date so that the landlord can make any necessary arrangements for inspections. Step three, include instructions for security deposit. If a landlord is sending in the notice, the letter should ask the tenant to provide an address where the security deposit can be sent. If the tenant is sending the notice, the letter should include instructions for the landlord on where to send the security deposit. Step four, send the letter. This can be done via mail or standard mail. Make sure to send the notice within the time frame required by the laws in your state. Ready to write your own non-renewal lease letter? Click the link below to create one in just minutes using our user-friendly fillable form. For more templates and forms related to tenancies such as lease agreements and eviction notices, visit our website at eforms.com.